My name is Tiffany Cobb. I work for San Francisco Fire Department and I'm an EMT, H3 Level 1. I grew up in the East Bay in Hayward. I was raised by a single parent. Um, I spent a lot of time with my grandparents because my mother was a single parent, so she had to work. My grandfather is a very blue collar man from the South, Louisiana to be exact. So I grew up with a very um, strong work ethic mentality. Um, I also was around all of my aunts and one of my aunts was a dispatch supervisor and a seasonal firefighter with the East Bay Regional Park District. And that's what kind of got me my taste of uh, EMS and fire and made me want to go into that direction after high school. So the essence of an EMT, I like to compare it to being a bar back in a bar. It's that you're assisting your bartender and you're anticipating their needs if they're running the call. If you're running the call, then it's up to you to provide whatever that patient may need and to write your narrative, make sure you're um, doing your due diligence with patient care and that you complete the call. Favorite part of the job is when I can actually connect with a patient and utilize just your people skills just as a human being. Sometimes a patient doesn't necessarily need um, a medical need. There's not a medical need. They just want someone to talk to and someone to listen to. Um, they just want to be seen as a person. They just want someone to just recognize them and see them as they are and I feel like that's those are my favorite calls. For me, it's important for me to show up because I remember being a seven-year-old or nine-year-old girl and I had never seen anyone that looked like me in an ambulance or in a fire engine. And the first time I saw that, it gave me hope that I could do that. I could do that one day because there are people that look like me who do that job. And uh, on a level of just being a woman, sometimes people just need to feel nurtured or that they're safe. And feeling nurtured makes you feel safe. So I feel like I can bring that to my calls and to my patients. Maybe you feel like you're scared of blood or, or whatever it is that you may be afraid of. Just give yourself a chance, try it out. Maybe, you know, try out as a volunteer first, see if you like it. That's how I started. Um, and just never give up. You know, I've been told no. I failed a fire academy and I, I'm still here. I didn't quit. So even if you're told no, just keep going and improve and learn from your mistakes and just, just never give up and believe in yourself. Right now I'm an EMT out of Station 49. Um, eventually, I would like to move to suppression, um, utilize my paramedic certification, become a firefighter paramedic. That's the ultimate goal and hopefully go on to be an officer someday. For San Francisco, I, always, I said this in my interview when I first got hired, it's like the, uh, the New York of the West Coast. Like San Francisco had everything that I wanted to be a part of. Um, they had EMS, they also had suppression. Um, the city itself is very diverse and has a rich history. It also has a very rich blue collar history, which I absolutely love. And um, I just, I want to be a part of that. Yeah.